Hello, this is 30 Min VR, and uh, this is my Vive One controller, which I've had since the beginning of VR uh, for like something like three years. So it's been bashed around a bit, but it survived. Uh, but it does have a problem, which has been quite recent. This recently happened where on the pad here, um, it no longer it clicks, as you can see there and here there. Uh, but it just wasn't working in game. So when I snap turning. Um, it would it'd be really intermittent whether it would work and uh, you know you, you, you kind of tend to kind of press hard to see if it works and it doesn't work so this is kind of a common problem with uh, people with older uh, ones over time and um, inside there's b below this pad there's this little tiny joystick and um, if, and what happens is um, the little joystick is has a um, when you click here it's, it's pushing on the joystick and if the interface between the joystick is no longer um, uh, tight enough, what happens? It's just basically not. It's just basically not reacting to that joystick. So we can fix it, and I'm going to show you what I've done because I have actually fixed this. Um, and we're going to just get straight onto it. Um, first off, you'll need one of these Talk Five little bits. I um, and uh, the first thing we want to do is there's some bolts here there there and there three of those so we need to take those out make sure you have a little container to put these all in uh, so like i said i have actually done this already so um i'm going to show you what i've done to fix it because it did work um i put a yeah, link in the description to these actually because i i didn't i didn't have any of these and i found the easiest bit uh way to do it was to buy these little um these little bits and i bought a set for three pounds really um and it's the cheapest way to do it um, <clears throat> so yeah because I'm never going to use these again you know for anything else probably so I didn't really want to spend a lot so I uh, <clears throat> I just picked these up so you can see so three of those are out there there's also a couple of um, little bolts in here so there and there so take these out now it doesn't really matter at this point but you will need to get to them There you go. So yeah, make sure you don't lose these because uh, I don't know how you'd even replace these if you lost them. Uh, for some reason, this one was always a difficult one to get out. I don't know why. Although there's nothing wrong with it. Oh, they got it. I'm just catching the uh, catching the end of it. That's the problem. You can see how small these things are. <coughs> yeah. So I'd say do it on the table with not a lot on. So if anything did fall out, it doesn't fall off the table since, you know, those, I don't think you'd be able to replace those. Okay, so we've got those these out there. And the first thing we need to do is take off this cover here. Okay, so I've got a little bit of kind of old credit card which is cut up because this will help. Um, you could use you know, like a, a, a screwdriver and all that sort of stuff, but you don't really want to damage this. It's, it's better to use something plastic, which is rigid, um, and just get in there and just kind of snap it up, and it should, I mean, it's a little bit easier now since I've already done this operation before, so it will look a little bit easier than what will happen to you. But basically, just kind of ease it out, and you will get there. You can see it's kind of snapping free of the little clips. Uh, the one that really holds down though is the one at the front. That's the bit which is kind of difficult because you can see everything is now detached, but it's this one. This is the difficult one. And uh, you do have to be a little bit forceful. But there you go. So it's not too difficult. There you go, see all the sensors there. So we've done that. <clears throat> Next bit we need to do is remove this bottom bit. Okay, so there's there's a couple of clips. It's on that side and on this side, so basically there. And the way to do this is you just squeeze it. You squeeze it and it just releases those clips and you'll see those clips in a minute. So you just do that and just basically just give it a bit of a, and just push it down. Obviously be careful about the sensors. And there you go, it just releases. <clears throat> and you can see those are the two clips, only a tiny couple of clips there. You can see how it just snaps into there. There you go. 
Okay, right. Now we have, there's a couple of little screws here you need to take out as well. Well, okay, just get the angle there. So it's there and there. So they need to come out as well because they hold in, they just hold in the top end of this cover here. Um, so yeah, don't forget to do these because uh, if you do, you won't be able to open it up. Okay, right, so this should open up now quite quickly and easily. Be careful, you don't want to kind of pull it apart completely, but the reason being there's ribbon cables uh, which are connected on both sides of the body. And uh, yeah, you don't want to whip those out, so you just need to be careful. And you can see it just opens up quite easily. And you can just see those the cables. Right, okay, so I'm gonna show you the little joystick here. And it's just that tiny thing there. So there you go, the little kind of white thing there. So that's it, that's, that's, what's, that's what's actually being uh, moved. And uh, yeah, and that's the only thing you need to, uh, yeah, and if you click it, you can, f you can hear it click. And yeah, and that's all it is. And um, you can see on this side, And I'll take this out because I, I just used a little bit of paper here. And I'll take that out. It's here, just a tiny bit of uh, A4 paper. I cut a square out. And um, so that's being, that's interacting with just this little piece here, which is kind of hard to see, but you can see it's a raised piece. And on there is a little rubber um, top on there. And that's connecting with the joystick there. And that's, that's the only thing controlling the entire pad here for the directional controls and the pressing. And that's what's happening. It's just not, you're just not getting good connection between that little piece there and the joystick. So what you can do um, is uh, use a little piece, like I said, use a little bit of A4. That's what I tried. Tweezers and you just, you just put it on the end and close it up effectively. Although that's not, uh, maybe lost the piece there. Well, that's not working, is it? <laughs> There's my, but yeah, basically, um, and because it's, it's it's a rubber little um, pillar on on this side, you don't need to glue it in. You just place it on there if you can. For some reason, I'm having a harder time doing it this way. It's kind of sticking to my uh, tweezers. Yeah, okay, there you go. So I'll put it on there, and you should just be able to close it up, and it should work. As simple as that, really, because all you need to do is you're adding a little bit of uh, thickness um, to that, you know, between the interface, and that's it, just a tiny bit of paper. Um, so I've, you know, some people have suggested using credit cards. That's I think that's far too thick, personally. Another option is, um, which the reason I got this, uh, and I'll try this, actually, now. And this is just a bit of, bit of card, laminated card. So I'll show you, I'll just cut a little square out. So that should probably work as well. Let me see why not, it should work. Let's make it a bit more square. And get in here again. Careful those ribbon cables. Just drop it on there. And close it up. Feels nice and clicky. So that should do the trick. Um, if yeah, if you use a material which is far too thick, when you close it up, you'll find it's actually bound and you can't actually, um, the button's kind of pressed and everything is tight. So that's why, you know, something like a credit card is too much. You could use a thin piece of plastic. 
uh, but I found that the A4 was quite good. But I thought I'd upgrade it with something slightly thicker, which just like I said, a bit of a, a bit of card. And that seems okay. Uh, what you can do uh, to test it uh, before you actually put it all back together is at, th at this point, uh, load up Steam VR, uh, turn on the controller, even with this I'm not on there, in the Steam VR home screen. Um, the pad is snap turning, so you can actually test it there. You can actually just test it in um, in there. You may not find it, may not track the controller here, but it would still work on the snap turning. Uh, and then you can just test it, see if what you've done is worked. And if it hasn't, you can maybe change it to a thicker or thinner piece of material. Simple as that, really. So uh, now we've done that, we can put this thing back together because I know it's going to be working now. I can tell. Um, so the first thing to do is put these two little screws back in here. And the other one. These things are very uh, fiddly. Uh, uh, luckily, it's magnetic. Okay, so let's put the this back on now. Just a reverse process of everything, basically. Um, so you can just see those tiny little clips there. Either side, so you just uh, position it. I'll make sure they're on the inside, and it kind of just snaps together pretty easy without too much uh, effort. It'll just kind of go into place. There you go. And the top bit, top bit's easy as well. Uh, start with the front clips. To start the front, which I find is the best way of doing it. Whoops, misaligned. And you see the rest are just clipped down. And there you have it. Simples. And then Put these little ones first. Watch this. Uh, it's easier to do it this way. <laughs> there you go. There you go. So yeah, be careful. I think the good way. Make sure you, I, I can do. It. Make sure your hands are on a on a table where you're far in. And this way, if these do drop, they're not going to fall on the, on the floor. The other thing, it's actually good doing it on cardboard is a good thing as well because it, they won't bounce around and bounce off the table because that's the, that's the worst thing, isn't it? This, this, one of these little things bounces off the table and uh, goes on the carpet. You'll never find these things. Um, so, yeah, just be cautious. Take your time with this job since, uh, yeah, you don't want to lose any of these things because uh, how would you ever find one of these and how would you find a replacement for one of these? Okay, and then the final three, nice and easy. So yeah, uh, you can do it yourself. It's not hard to do this job, and it means that you know it's um, if you have one of these older ones, you don't have to buy another one. It is easily fixable since if the rest of the, the joystick is working on there, um, you'll know it's just going to be. Um, and it's just like a one side is just it does, it doesn't work it's as simple as doing what I've done here um, and uh, yeah it should work again and should be all be good 
I mean, yeah, it is a bit older how kind of delicate that little joystick is, um, considering, because I think this is kind of a problem which a lot of people have, and um, which is a bit unfortunate, really, because, um, you know, if you're on warranty, you don't want to do it yourself, because uh, if you are on warranty, still, you'll find on this one, you won't see it here, but you'll see that those are kind of clear but that one's kind of blacked out there's a tiny little cover there and when you actually do do it you just press in you don't have to pull it off you just press in and it just breaks it it's just a really very thin um little kind of cover on there so yeah so when you check yours out if you when you do this job you'll see that's kind of blanked out and it just looks like a it just looks like plastic like the rest of it um and that's just there to um as a, a, a warranty void um cover so if you are on warranty and, it, and you do have that problem, you're probably going to have to send it back unless you do it yourself. And then obviously, if you can't get it to work, then you're in trouble there. But um, if you're, you know, over whatever, two years, whatever, one year, I'm not sure what warranty on this is. But um, if you're out of that, then you can do it yourself. And there you go. It's all working now. And, uh, and it's all good. Okay, so I hope this uh, little tutorial helped you. And uh, if it did, uh, don't forget to um, hit the like. And maybe subscribe if you want to watch more of my videos. And uh, yeah, drop your comments. And uh, thanks for watching. And uh, take care. Bye-bye for now.